Hey what's up guys, RC Hobby Steve here. In today's video I'm going to be talking a little bit about some of the first couple of mods I did to my bomber just so it can perform a little bit better for my driving style. So I just wanted to share this with you guys just in case you wanted to try out the things I did with your bomber and to see maybe if your bomber could perform a little bit better. Maybe it won't, maybe it will. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the motor that I decided to go with. I'll give you a close-up view now. I decided to go with a Holmes Hobbies brushed motor for this um, just as a throw-in motor because I was going to purchase a brushless system, which I do have. Uh, so this is just the motor I had stuck in for the time being. Uh, it's a 27 turn 550 can brushed motor and it has pl plenty of torque and plenty of power. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. This is the new power plant for my bomber. It's a RX4 from Tekken. Uh, this is basically an element proof electronic speed controller. This is my first Tekken ESC that I've ever owned. I usually go with Castle products, but I wanted to try something different because everywhere I went, um, Castle products were out of stock. And for the motor, I went ahead and purchased a Holmes Hobbies uh, 2700 KV. This is the Trailmaster B brushless pro 540 motor I wanted to do a 550 can motor but for now I decided just to do the 540 uh, the motor is very very nice gonna go ahead and show you guys for those of you that have never seen one of these before so it's a very very beautiful motor you can see here very high quality overall just looks nice so I don't know if this is waterproof or not um, uh, blah, 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 blah. I might have the water water resistant sensor board okay so this is waterproof so that's good that's something I was worried about because I right at checkout um, that's something I forgot to check before checking out I just went ahead and bought it because there was only a couple left in stock so that's new power plant. Uh, the next thing I went ahead and did that I know everybody else went ahead and did as well was I ended up removing the rear uh, tire holder, the spare tire holder. So as you guys know, this truck runs on 2.2 tires and this is the spare tire that was right back here. I mean, it does look cool, but it did uh, hit all the rocks that I was driving on and it got stuck and it just kept bending that rear piece so I wanted to go ahead and remove it and the cool thing is you don't have to cut anything the mount was held in by four screws right here in the back so I don't know if you can see that boom 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 and just remove that put this piece back in and there you go you have a nice shortened cage it looks more appropriate so, next thing I went ahead and did was um, I went ahead and changed my battery connector to XT60. I only changed one of my batteries to an XT XT60 connector, but I have uh, this right here. <clears throat> it's a whole baggie of XT60 connectors, so I plan on changing everything to this. A lot of good recommendations to upgrade to XT60s, so went ahead and took out the connector that this truck came with and I really like the plug it's been really good no disconnecting issues like I have with my Dean's connectors that I had previously been running um, what else last thing or well, second to last is I did my shock mod so my shock mod basically consists of this is a shock from my um, Losi Baja Ray. So it's semi, it's about the same size, just I would say a couple millimeters longer. But what I do is I take the shock completely apart and I buy these spacers from the, the hardware store. 
So these right here. There you go. And this is a tad bit longer than what I usually use. I usually use half of this, so that way I still have some um, good travel. But these shocks were decently long, and I wanted to bring the ride height of the truck a little bit shorter. Um, it didn't interfere with the flex of the truck, but it made the springs a whole lot stiffer since I was bringing the shock down, the shock shaft shorter. Um, so that means more spring stiffness, and I didn't have to bring the collar on the the shock body down too far. Uh, so what I go ahead and do is I stick this on the shaft like so, and so just to show you real quick, this is without it. Uh, if I could get it in the hole. So that's how much length I have. That's how much length I have without it. Now, to bring it lower, I stick this inside. You're going to have to cycle your shocks twice um, just so the oil can be nice and fluid inside the shock body. <clears throat> but as you can see, it's a whole lot shorter. For this length of shaft, I would go with the half spacer just because this is really short and it'll probably bump against stuff and it wouldn't appropriately look right but for a truck like this um, this spacer was good enough this is the size spacer I have and um, there's nothing wrong with the ride height of the car now it is a whole lot lower but I still have that decent flex it's not crazy flex like it did have before because obviously the shafts are a lot shorter but it did have a droop setup, and obviously there's there's no more droop in the truck. It's just pure, just spring. But the back is nice and stiff, and the front is nice and stiff. And um, the thing I noticed with this um, little mod that I did, um, I drove it stock when I first got the truck. I go ahead and changed the connectors. I charged up the battery and brought it out just to see how it would perform. Um, as is this truck did, didn't come with a sway bar in the back so uh, let's bring this up a little bit for you guys so it didn't come with a sway bar in the back so the truck was just leaning like crazy going over stuff and with this mod it's so stiff and stable that it doesn't lean anymore but when you're going over a rock it flexes but the tires don't want to just like flop over or the truck doesn't want to just completely lean over and the wheel lifts up and that brings me to my my next mod and my last mod that I did so far was I took uh, the bead locks apart these are a three-piece bead lock it it's only on the 2.0 version of the bomber so this is the updated one I don't believe they sell the the first version that they did they're both the same truck just with minor changes basically um, so I took it apart and I added these weights right here that I got from a store called Harbor Freight. These are 14 grams half ounce uh, wheel weights. As you can see right there. And then I, I don't know how many fit on each wheel, but the tire is a whole lot heavier than stock. And this keeps the front planted down when crawling, so I haven't broken anything. My next set of mods that I'm going to be doing, I'm still waiting for some parts. I have a uh, SSD steering link set, so it's basically the the link that goes to the servo and then your main steering piece right here. So I have that. Then I have some uh, I forget the name of the sliders. Actually, I'll go I'll go online and I'll show you real quick because I got it through RPP Hobbies. So I got three three different things for the for the bomber that I was supposed to get sometime this week, but I haven't. All right, so it was a uh, I did buy the rear sway bar, um, the axial one, the soft version, but because it's been performing so good, I don't know if I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna throw it on when I do receive it just to see how it does. But for now, I think I'm just gonna run without it. Um, so I got the Incision Wraith 1 um, one fourth stainless steel drag link and tie rod kit for the front. So 
it was an SSD. But I got a Scalar Fab um, Bomber Rock Slide, Rock Sliders with skids. So that's going to cover up the bottom side. A lot of rocks get stuck on this when, <coughs> excuse me, when driving. So that's an upgrade and mod that I'm going to do to this truck. And also this truck does come with um, lights. They're rated for uh, 6 volts, but I have lights coming in from lit LED. Um, Manny sells some really nice high quality lights. So I bought a, a bundle of lights from him and all of these lights are going to get changed out. My front light bar is going to have 4 lights. These two are going to have um, probably ambers and the rear tail light. The light bar here is going to have some blue and some reds. So it's going to be pretty cool and I might do some little rock lights here and there. Just got to figure out how I'm going to do it. Um, but when I do receive those parts, I will do a uh, video on that so you guys can see those parts. Uh, I know some people have problems getting the scalar fab sliders on because it's a really tight fit. But I'll show you how to get, on, get those on without a problem. If you do have any questions about the upgrades um, slash mods that I already done to my bomber, just go ahead in the comments down below and let me know what questions you have. Um, this is a really cool truck. I'm having a lot of fun with it and I look forward to taking it out on the trails and doing some pretty cool videos with it. So thanks guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Hey what's up guys. So I know I just ended the video but as I was editing the video and getting ready to upload it to YouTube, I got a notification from the post office saying that my packages were delivered. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and unbox them anyways, and when they get installed, I'll um, show you guys the final product. I'm not gonna do the lights today because this is gonna take this is gonna be a long process, but I am gonna install these, and then at the end of the video, you'll see what the final product looks like pretty much. Uh, so, I will show you the lights though, what I did get, this is, like I said, from Lit LED. He's my go-to person for lights. If it's not him, then I usually get some of my lights from Proline Racing, because they sell some pretty badass lights. So, I ended up ordering a couple LEDs from him. So, as you can see here, I don't know if it's going to focus. There we go. Lots and lots of LEDs. So I have some. It's all rated for 12 volts of power. There we go. So I got some two blues, two ambers, a couple of JST plugs right here. I like to use these plugs with my lights. I got a bundle of red and a bundle of white and then I also got one of his uh, stickers here his decal so be sure to check him out I will link his Facebook and his Instagram account in the description below so you guys have that and then these cool things that he he makes and sells himself are uh, light switches so it's for your the third channel on your receiver you plug this in and you plug in the lights to this and you're able to power on and off your your lights so this is pretty cool so I don't know if this is gonna work with the, the JST plugs uh, looks like it'll be just fine I could probably plug in two lights I'll have to message him and see um, how many lights I could plug into this but if I can have my front lights and my rear lights separated and just plugged into this then that'll be pretty dope so that's what i got from him he always includes these little 3d printed balls which are pretty funny makes me smile every time i get this of course another one of his decals he didn't include his uh, business card but i have like a couple of those so those are the lights put those to the side and then the main package which i was super worried about because it was stuck in tennessee for like the longest I have no clue why. This is my package from RPP Hobbies. Let's get this opened up 
here. Alright, so it's a bag. Another box. Uh, let's see. Right over here. Of the three things that are going to be installed into the truck. So we have the Scalar Fab Trail Armor and Accessories. So this is, get this down, the bomber sliders with the skids. So I'm going to go ahead and open one of these up for you guys without cutting myself. Can't do this one handed, I suck. Alright. So these feel really nice. They look pretty cool. Could have made this myself, but figured I support another company out there. So that's it right there. Very nice quality. Spray painted black. So you could see those nice scratches when you slide on everything. It's welded in three spots. So Looking forward to installing this, and then I have the sway bar, but like I said, I don't know if I'm going to be using the sway bar, because uh, as of now, the truck performs pretty, pretty good, so I have no issues with that. And then I have my incision steering links, so these look super beefy, so really looking forward to installing this bad boy. So... Like I said, I'm going to install the steering and the trail armor skid plates and then I'll come right back so that way you guys can see the final product of how this looks and then I'll end the video. So I'll be right back guys. Alright guys, so I'm installing the pieces. I had some problems with the sliders. I thought they didn't fit but um, I watched the video over again and he wasn't joking when he said a snug fit. So I did say I was going to show you guys how to install this. So. I'm going to have to remove the top screw and the two bottom ones. Alright. Oh, I made it hot. Alright, so what the guy suggests is to start with the first screw with the one where it's pointing out. So, get that snugged in and then started. I'm going to use a drill because it's a really snug fit. Oh. Alright, so I got that one started and you're going to want to push the back piece up so that way you can see the other hole. And you don't have to really worry about breaking the, the weld points because they're pretty solid. Gonna get this started up with the one of my tools. I don't know if I'm at the hole. There it goes. Alright, so get this started and then finish it off with the drill. As you tighten it, it'll conform to how it is. And that's pretty much it. So that's the sliders. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the steering links off camera. And then show you guys the finished product. Alright guys, so this is the final product of the steering set. I had to widen this side just a little bit. Might have to do some more adjusting just to get the tires straight. This one looks a little bit out, so I have to probably scoot it out a little bit more. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I know this is just an addition. Um, I wasn't expecting the package to come today, so I was supposed to do a separate video, but I figured, oh, what the heck, just turn the camera on and record another part. So, thanks again for all those who've watched, and if you do have any 
questions about the products I use and the stuff I did on my bomber, be sure to leave a comment down below and I'll be glad to answer it for you and help you out. So thanks for watching and be sure to stay tuned for the running video of this that will be out sometime this week. Peace guys.